If you're dealing with a chronic health condition such as arthritis, poor circulation, diabetes, fibromyalgia, or neuropathy, you may have looked into a variety of different alternative therapies or regenerative medicine. Far infrared radiation, while once considered purely an alternative therapy, now has some scientific backing and may even be a superior alternative for regenerative medicine, according to a recent article in the Journal of Pharmacological Research. In this video, I'll cover the science-backed benefits of far infrared radiation therapy. Now, by the way, this video is sponsored by FEMAT, the maker of this far infrared radiation mat. I'll plug it in now to warm it up, and then we'll jump into the science back benefits. So what exactly is far infrared radiation? Well, visible light runs in the spectrum of 400 nanometer wavelengths up to about 700 nanometers. From 700 nanometers up to 100,000 nanometers is considered infrared. And then on the other end of the spectrum, less than 400 down to 10 nanometers is considered ultraviolet. Now, ultraviolet radiation is the type that comes from the sun and is sometimes implicated in skin cancer. On the other end though, the longer wavelengths from 700 up to 100,000 nanometers actually have some substantial healing benefits. Now from 700 nanometers up to 1400 nanometers is considered Near infrared from 1400 up to 3000 is considered mid range infrared, and then from 3000 all the way up to 100,000 nanometers is considered far infrared. And keep in mind that 100,000 nanometers is only 0.1 millimeters, so we're talking about really small wavelengths either way that you slice it. Now, the longer the wavelength, the deeper the penetration into tissues. And so you can get some deep heating benefits from far infrared radiation. But there are other benefits beyond that. There are transdermal effects, the effects that take place directly at the skin, resonance features causing vibration of water molecules within your tissues, and then non-thermal mechanisms. On a cellular basis, far infrared radiation can cause angiogenesis or the formation of new blood vessels. It can change the biological behavior of cells. It can have anti-inflammatory properties. It can combat oxidative stress, and it can improve mitochondrial function, which helps increase energy production. Far infrared radiation has been studied in a variety of different disease processes, including angiogenesis-related diseases, nervous system diseases, dermal or skin diseases, kidney-related diseases or nephrotoxicity, neurodegenerative diseases, coronary artery diseases, cancer, which when you're talking about radiating energy, people may worry that it could worsen cancer, but it's actually been shown to have the opposite effect. Now, that's not the same to say that it cures or treats cancer, but it could possibly be a helpful adjunct to traditional cancer treatments. Far infrared radiation has been studied in coronary heart disease, cardiovascular disease, body fat and obese individuals, diabetes mellitus, cardiac ischemia, burn wounds, breast cancer-related lymphedema, and a variety of other diseases. In clinical trials, it's been studied in heart rate variability, chronic extremity lymphedema, diabetes mellitus, arthroscopic rotator cuff repair, autonomic nervous system disorders, recurrent peritonitis, and breast cancer-related lymphedema. So while the research for many of the applications is in its early stages, there are a lot of potential future benefits. Now, how would the average person access far infrared radiation therapy? Well, for most people, the easiest two ways to do them are either using a dry sauna or a infrared radiation mat like this one. Far infrared radiation saunas are incredibly expensive to purchase for home, and they do take up quite a bit of space. Alternatively, you can rent time in one, but if you're gonna need it on an ongoing basis for a chronic health condition, I'm a big fan of buying your relief, not renting it. So the more accessible version for most people is an infrared radiation mat like this one. Now it has some coils inside that heat up gemstones, and those gemstones then emit radiant heat, specifically amethyst. 
You can see that it has a nine layer design with the central carbon fiber layer actually producing the infrared radiation. Just above that, it has an aluminum foil layer that prevents electromagnetic fields from getting through to the body. It has waterproof layers above and below for safety, as well as a temperature sensor and a thermal protection switch to prevent overheating or electrical hazards. Then at the top layer, there are gemstones and some mesh to hold the gemstones in place. Now, just in the time that I've plugged it in, it's already getting warm. You can adjust the temperature settings using this dial, and you can adjust it from 30 degrees Celsius all the way up to 70 degrees Celsius. That equates to 86 degrees to 158 degrees Fahrenheit for US users. And note that the dial is in degrees Celsius. Depending on the temperature, that's going to affect your usage time. From 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, they actually say it's safe to use overnight, although you do have to be careful that you don't sustain burns if you use it overnight. In the middle setting, 41 to 50 degrees Celsius, you need to use it for two hours or more. At higher degrees, you use it for 30 to 90 minute sessions at 51 to 60 degrees Celsius, or from 61 to 70 degrees Celsius, a 30 to 60 minute session. If you are using the pad above 50 degrees Celsius, it is recommended to use a covering. This mattress pad actually comes with it to avoid getting skin burns. Now to actually use the pad, you would lie down on it. Typically you'd want to lie down on your back. If you do have some lower back pain, you may want to bend your knees up or put a small pillow underneath your knees to prevent your lower back from being excessively arched with your legs straight. You can do a variety of different things while you're lying here. You can just lay down, read a book, watch TV, or you can take the time to do some stretching or some exercises. Just simple exercises like either bringing your knee up to your chest or doing piriformis stretches, pulling your knees up that way, doing core stabilization exercises such as marching back and forth while keeping your lower back flat. Those are all good if you're dealing with lower back pain. If you're dealing with other problems, you don't necessarily need to do those. One other benefit of far infrared radiation therapy is it has been used for relaxation. And a good thing you can do to relax, which helps almost any health condition, is doing some deep diaphragmatic breathing. That helps activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is good for stress management. It also helps get a sufficient amount of oxygen into your lungs, which can then be distributed out to your body tissues. And your body tissues are always healthier when they have a sufficient amount of oxygen. To do diaphragmatic breathing, take one hand and put it on your belly and the other hand and put it on your chest. Then as you breathe in, you want to make your belly rise up. And then as you exhale, just let your belly fall. Now this is the opposite of what many people do. When they think about taking a deep breath, they think about breathe in through the chest and then breathe out. But you actually want the hand on your belly to move more. So as you breathe in, think about belly rise, make your belly rise and don't allow your chest to move all that much. And then as you breathe out, just let your belly fall. That uses your diaphragm to increase your lung volume which makes air rush in. And then as you let your belly fall, that decreases your lung volume, which pushes air out. Now, what will you experience when lying on the mat? Well, from personal experience, it just feels really nice and relaxing. And you don't need any research to prove that. It's just a surface level benefit. The heat feels good. It makes your muscles feel nice and relaxed. I think the surface feels pretty comfortable to lie on. My wife and daughter did lie on it. And they said it felt like you're lying on gravel because there are stones in here. I also read some reviews on Amazon that said the same thing. So for people who are of slight build, it may be like a princess in the pea type situation, but I think it feels really relaxing and comfortable just to lie on it. As far as features, again, it does have an adjustable temperature control. It has an automatic shutoff. You can set it for either four hours, eight hours, or 12 hours because again, they say you can use it overnight on the lower settings, 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. I would be very careful when doing that and I would try it during the day first before trying it at night. Additionally, it has an automatic shutoff, so if it does get too hot, 
and it's supposed to shut off automatically. It also comes with a storage and travel case if you want to fold it up and store it away or take it with you on the road. Now, what are some of the other benefits of this mat? It's been proposed to release negative ions, specifically from the crystal amethyst. There is research supporting negative ion therapy, particularly for mood, mental health, and stress, and also for respiration. Now, what are negative ions? If you remember back from chemistry, negative ions are just negatively charged particles. They carry more electrons than protons, and so they have a negative charge. The most common ones found in nature are found around waterfalls or other areas where there are moving air currents around water. And so the most common ions in negative ion therapy are either O2 with a negative charge, an extra electron, or OH minus. And because those extra electron carrying molecules are somewhat reactive and unstable, they tend to bind with other free radicals in the body, which can cause oxidative stress, or in the air, they can bind with particles in the air and cause them to drop out of the air, acting as an air purifier. Now, there's not a ton of research showing that crystals do actually cause negative ions in the air, but there is research for negative ions itself. Now, you also notice the different color lines on this mat, and that corresponds to five different types of crystals. Crystals have been long used for their healing properties, but there's not a whole lot of science to back that. So this is where we veer a little bit more into the alternative. I'm not claiming to personally believe in the healing properties of crystals, but anything that has stood the test of time probably does have some validity just because people keep using it, even if science doesn't necessarily support it just yet. However, some people may be interested in the different crystals and what they're supposed to be used for, so I'm going to state the proposed benefits of the different crystals in this mat. Amethyst emits a strong and steady flow of far infrared and negative ions. It promotes better wellness and overall quality of life. The clear crystal quartz is considered a master healer. Turquoise is rich in trace elements. It's good for promoting cell regeneration, strengthening immunity, and strengthening the body. It's good for the eyes and respiratory system and is conducive to preventing harmful radiation. Red agate stone helps improve cold hands and feet and promote circulation and metabolism. And obsidian is a type of volcanic rock similar to basalt, which is often used in hot stone massage. It helps the body better cleanse itself. Now again, the healing benefits of crystals are pretty far into the alternative. There is some moderate evidence for the support of negatively charged ions, although it's not known for certain in what amount those are produced by heated crystals. But just the infrared benefits alone, the far infrared radiation therapy is probably worth the price of the mat just for that itself, and the fact that on the surface level, it just kind of feels good and relaxing. So if you are interested in this type of mat, I'll put a link below in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.